September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. On February 3rd, 1979, September by Earth, Wind, and Fire peaked at number 8 on the Hot 100 for one week. It had entered the chart on November 12th, 1978, and spent 17 weeks on the Top 100. It was track two of side two from the group's album, The Best of Earth, Wind, and Fire, Volume 1. The album reached number three on Billboard's R&B Albums chart and number six on the Top 200 chart. That's the pop album chart, the Billboard 200. Now, even though the song appeared on a Best Of album, it was not previously released as a single. It was a brand new track specifically for that Greatest Hits album. Taylor Swift released an airy banjo and acoustic guitar version of this song on April 13th, 2018, that actually provoked ire on social media. Her recording was part of a Spotify promotion, and she explained that she covered it for, quote, sentimental reasons, and because the month of September is when one of her breakups that were one of the more memorable breakups occurred. Philip Bailey of Earth, Wind & Fire came to her defense, tweeting, Music is free like that. Ain't got nothing but love for you. Although many people hear the first words in the chorus as party on, it's really body ya, body ya. The writer Ailey Willis explained in an interview. I absolutely could not deal with the lyrics that were nonsensical or lines that weren't complete sentences, and I'm exceedingly happy that I lost that attitude. I went, you can't leave Body Ya on the chorus. That's got to mean something. Now, Maurice White, the lead singer of Earth, Wind & Fire, said, no, that feels great. That's what people are going to remember. We're leaving it. We did try other stuff, and it always sounded clunky. Thank God. The main lesson I learned from Earth, Wind & Fire, especially... Maurice White, was never let a lyric get in the way of a groove. Ultimately, it's the feel that is the most important, and someone will feel what you're saying if those words fit in their right. You know, this song has a tendency to make people happy when they hear it. Ailey Willis, who wrote the song with Maurice White and Al McKay from Earth, Wind & Fire, describes it as, quote, joyful music. It was the first song Willis wrote with the band and quite a learning experience. She said, Their stuff was very much based on Eastern philosophies and incredibly positive outlook on life. The lyrical content of their songs was not typical of what would have been in soul music at that time. So when I left the studio that first day, Maurice gave me the name of a book. It was called The Greatest Salesman in the World. And he sent me to the Bodhi Tree, which is a very spiritual bookstore here in L.A. I got that and a bunch of other books that the saleswoman said was the philosophy. And what went from being a very simple experience turned into, for me, an incredibly complex experience because I dove into those books. And even the way they were written, the language they were written in, I kind of didn't understand anything, but Maurice told me right from the jump, he thought I was a very spiritual person and I was put here to communicate. And I thought, if Maurice was saying that to me, I need to hang with this. I echo it personally. I simply love this song. It's perhaps the most positive song ever written and sung. It was added to the Library of Congress's National Recording Registry list of sound recordings that are, quote, culturally, historically, and aesthetically important in 2018, a huge achievement. And it's simply just an awesome pop and R&B standard. It always gets people moving and shaking. I love, 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 love this song. It fills my heart with happiness every time I hear it. It's a cure, an instant cure for depression. September by Earth, Wind & Fire. Stream it today. <laughs>